So what was it about this this film? I mean, you've done so many roles, but this is a very different, like, dark role for you. What was it? Uh, you know, I I I liked the uh, the action. I liked the physical kind of nature of it, but I also within that kind of genre there was a lot of emotional depth to the character and it was a very you know a guy who goes through a tremendous transformation and that to me that was uh, looked like fun to play it you know i guess it's um it's really just, you know just try to take it one day at a time you know if something comes along and it feels like wow this is uh, really a story i want to tell from a directing standpoint then maybe i'll i'll step in um you know i I, I don't really know. I don't really have any kind of like master plan. I'm just, uh, you know, trying to, uh, trying to go along uh, for this ride as long as I can. You know, awesome. I did my second one this year, which is just about to air, and uh, it was even easier, I think, the second time because I already knew the format, you know, and I up until that point I'd never directed episodic uh, television, so. Uh, it is a very different kind of skill. You're much more of a hired gun. Um, and, uh, you know, the, the show exists before you get there and after you leave. Um, so you have to figure out as a director how to get in and, and you know, make some kind of a mark. But I love I loved doing it, and uh, I hope I get a chance to do it again. I had, was looking for something to, in, in where I could kick some ass, and uh, this, you know, obviously afforded that. But given that, it also had a real, uh, you know, emotional core to it. This guy dealing with the fact that he's seen um, his oldest son, uh, you know, murdered in this random act of violence. I also knew that uh, James Wan was going to be a formidable presence. Uh, you know, I'd seen his first film, and I'd met with James and, and talked, and he had such a clear vision, you know, not only for the movie as a whole, but for every single shot. And he would t tell me, you know, this is going to be a shot like this, and this is going to be a shot where you're going to run, and it's going to do this, you know. And so I, I, I felt like even, even though he's a young guy, uh, it, he's going to be someone that I can feel good about putting myself in his hands. You know, being famous is something that I've lived with for so long that it's kind of hard for me to picture what life would be without it. Uh, but it's also, I don't like to uh, uh, look to give look a gift horse in, horse in the mouth, you know. So, so it's something that I live with. I live with every day, and usually it, it's good stuff. You know, people don't really talk about that that often. You know, you hear a lot of, uh, I don't know, whatever, young people complaining about the paparazzi being around all the time, and you know, in, 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 in invading their lives. But but the truth is, is that if you're famous. People are nice to you most of the day. You know, everywhere you go, people say nice things and they're friendly and they, you know, offer you stuff and you know what I mean? So it's, it's actually a pretty good gig. <laughs>